Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to be playing with Tom and Dre. Just pushing some general ladder because at the minute, uh, all my time has been spent on pushing ladder. So I just want to be showing you guys my push. So at the moment, third in the world, want to be getting that top spot pretty soon. And uh, I've been playing with Dre, KC and Tom a lot. And actually got around, I think it's 9, 10, 11, 1Ks already. I want to get about uh, 16 at least by the end of the day, probably 18 even. So... Uh, it's going to be pushing really hard. I'll put both of their socials in the description below. They're going to be my pushing partners for the season for the majority. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, so going into the first game then. So, actually not really pushed a lot uh, in the last hour. Probably pushed about 20 trophies. Just keep tilting at the moment. Uh, but at the minute, we're actually facing a lot of mortars. Uh, especially in Brawl, it's really weird to see. And actually coming up against NA a lot, as you can see. I mean, delays a little bit uh, worse than normal, but... Uh, I think around every other game now, we keep facing the NA uh, inside of matchmaking. And we get a little bit of a delay, but Drage able to score that pretty simply, so uh, not too bad. I don't think these guys are that good just by the looks of things. I can just get a double stun here. We should be able to go kill them. Uh, okay, no, I kind of messed up there. I didn't think I was going to get a ball, but at least I got a uh, bear again going into it. And that mortis should hopefully go down, which is okay. But as I said, my goal... Uh, by probably Thursday or Friday because I'm going to have to take tomorrow off uh, because it's my birthday. But I'll jump into uh, what I was going to say because Dre just scored and even realised. Let's hop into the next game. Alright, so into the next game. So as I was going to say uh, before Dre just scored, uh, the kind of schedule I want to be going for, so by probably Thursday or Friday, I want to get everyone 1k and then we'll go push into 1.1 and maybe even 1.2. Uh, but tomorrow is actually my birthday. It's going to be my 21st birthday, so probably going to take most of the day off pushing. Uh, probably might put do a uh, late night stream or something. Uh, so definitely check that out on Twitch. But that's going to be an easy walk in from Tom. Uh, as I said, uh, it's probably I think every single season uh, from now I'm going to be pushing. So I mean, I at least want to stay in the top five, kind of six at least. The top of the leaderboards uh, would be pretty cool just to keep that for from now on because now. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, I've quit my job, so I've got a lot of free times on my hands, so I can definitely uh, start posting more content. But that's going to be another quick game. That's two in a row now. I'm able to uh, win that in less than a minute. Let's jump on right into the next game. All right, guys, into the next game. Then. So them two games ended really, really quick. Uh, the thing about the season at a minute, the two really bad maps have uh, came into rotation at the beginning. I don't really like this map. It's not really the best for pushing because it kind of rewards a lot of aggressive comps, and we keep losing to, like, uh, primos and mortises are just literally just dashing and just sprinting straight at us but uh, later on in the season the better brawl maps and like siege and jump grab maps will be out so we'll be able to push decently there but at the minute we'll have to just push uh, the decent brawlers because there's not a lot out there that's a good stun there but it's Leon chokes actually he could have just walked that in uh, we didn't have enough DPS to take him down for sure I'm just going to go aggro against this Daryl then uh, let's work with the pinch on and as you can see I think this is NA again because we've got some pretty bad delay uh, which is a bit annoying um, yeah I think I recognize that name I think that is uh, actually NA so a bit annoying it's actually like as I'm recording this it's 4 p.m. so we shouldn't really be having to face any NA people I do I oh, actually know that like Leon uh, saved it then I was gonna say I did just waste a the gadget there but uh, didn't really matter too much this Leon's gonna look to get his invis again I don't really want to feed it so He's going to be one shot here. We should be able to take him down. I've still got a full health Bruce going up the map. And I've got another Bruce uh, available. So it should be pretty decent here. Uh, we've got to be careful. Because BB and Daryl have got so much HP. They can just keep respawning over and over again. Oh no, I threw my bear a bit too far up. This Daryl's probably going to just roll past it. No, at least he's wasted some ammo on it. And might be able to just walk this in. Let's try and get this in. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. That's probably a bit too aggressive. He should have just kept control. Leon's got Invis. This is kind of where it's been going wrong as well, where one of us has gone a bit too uh, overextended, a bit too much, and then they've just counted. But luckily, my teammates have got it. They've cleaned up in the end. Uh, we're just going to keep control again. I'm close to bear. I should be able to make something happen in a sec. One shot from bear. And I should just be able to place it on this Daryl's face. If this BB feeds me, nice. Okay. I haven't got a stun left, else I probably would have been able to score here. This Daryl's going to roll on it in, but this Bruce Bear should be able to clean him up. Okay, all of us have died. This is a very bad situation. I don't know if we're going to be able to defend this. Uh, Les Dre just got Gadget. Okay, no, he hasn't. We do manage to defend it, though, so uh, GG for that one. This BB is just going to run into our faces. And there's a Leon on the attack, so got to be careful. I'm actually close to Nita Bear, so uh can actually still play aggressively. I'm just going to place a bear on me. I don't know where this Leon is. I'm guessing he's behind somewhere. Yeah, he's uh, just spawned on top of Drage. 
So over time, we have surely got better over time comp. I'm going to pass this up to Drage in a sec. Okay, nice. This Daryl's rolled on onto us. I'm close to my bear pretty much. This BB's going to kill me, but we should be able to get this one. Uh, if Tom's able to pass that across. Yeah, we're, bit, we're able to score that one. So a bit of a sweaty game, to be honest. I uh, didn't really play the best, but still managing to pick up another win. Let's jump into the next game. All right, guys, into the next game. Facing a Rico, not actually best in this map. Tom's actually switched to B, so that's a pretty good mid. Uh, Going to be a bit of delay here, so should we actually be able to clap. B's like the best mid in the game in Brutal Ball for sure. Uh, especially, uh, probably except for Sprout. I think Sprout's only the best one, but B, as I've said loads of times, she absolutely uh, claps in, in terms of ladder. Uh, Tom is pushing up. I should be able to get a pinch off here. No, I switch to just to score that end. So really well played from the teammates again. We're using two of the best brawlers inside of Brawl Balls, so we shouldn't really have too much trouble pushing. I think it's because Tom and Drage also hate this map. So uh, when it's a bad map in a rotation, it's definitely good to push your uh, really OP brawlers. And then when there's a good map, we can play a lot of variety, uh, like field goal and just like uh, triple dribble and other maps in general like that. Uh, you can start pushing the uh, worse brawlers like the Primos and... I have the other brothers like that, but that's going to be another win anyway, literally within a minute again. Let's jump into the next game. Alright, so hopping in into the next game. So again, Ash facing another Primo. We're getting a lot of Primos inside of his games. We're actually was trying to push Frank, and that's probably the main reason why we're tilted a little bit, because Primo hard counters Frank so much, and we're struggling for a while, but looking like we can get this Pam down as well. And we get the Primo down. Didn't even know he was low HP, but Tom, uh, I mean, Trage is able to just clap them again, and he's able to put that one home. So I'm close to my bear. I've got two stuns, but I feel like this game's going to be over pretty soon, so I want to use these stuns as soon as I get them. So we're going to try and get this jacket down. Primo's just going to run it into our faces, and uh, they've left it completely open for me to score. So again, that's going to be literally a game over in like 30 seconds. Let's just hop into the next game. All right, so next game then uh, against a Colt. So it's going to be pretty simple in the mid. I'm against a Spike, not really the best, and he's using curveballs. So actually, I know I can go a bit aggressively because he's not going to be healing. Uh, at all, but the other thing is, it's going to be hard for me to dodge this curveball. Tom is able to uh, clap the spike there again, and we're able to get the Daryl, so should hopefully be able to score this if Drage is going to walk it in. Okay, no, I can just slot that in. So my teammates just literally hard carrying me so hard. So definitely uh, give them both a uh, check out. Definitely subscribe to them both. You probably definitely uh, subscribe to Tom, but Drage. Again, it's just an absolute god. He's an absolute ladder warrior because at the minute he can't uh, compete in many competitions because of his age. But if he would uh, compete in competitions, I think he'll be the best player in the world. So definitely uh, give him a uh, sub on YouTube. But again, I'm close to my super Tom. He's just completely beaming these kids. And it looks like it's going to be another goal for us. So that's, again, a goal, uh, a game in under one minute. It's going really uh, simple at the moment. Let's jump into the next one. All right, so next game is up. Facing a Poco and a Jean here. So, I mean, B's not going to have too much trouble. Uh, it also seems as well that whenever you play ladder in the morning, you definitely face a sweaty comp. So then after like an hour, just because the way MM is, uh, it's changed a lot. So you actually face... Uh, probably lesser opponents and whatnot. And as I said before, it looks like we're facing NA again, as you can see by this uh, shot delay. You can see, like, every time I go to release my shot, it then comes out about probably 0.5 of a second later. So a little bit annoying, but I uh, don't seem like these are the best of players just because of the comp they're using. So, um, and he's using Screeching Solo, so that's when you know uh, <laughs> some points are not going to be as good, unless he's not got the other star power unlocked, to be fair. But. Screeching Solo is definitely not the star power you want to be using at all. So they're just going to keep running at us. It's hard again to really do too much with this delay. So I've got to be a little bit careful. Poker again actually misses a Screeching Solo on me. So now I can push up. Uh, looking like, no, we're not going to be able to score. BB's the only one that's surviving again. They're just going to keep running at us over and over again. But there's no need to kind of rush it. I think Drage has died. I don't know, I didn't pop up. But he was super, super low. Okay, this BB's just going to run into my face here. Drage actually died in it. I don't think it actually popped up on the screen, so uh, good job we actually had our bear there. Now, BB might have been able to run up. I'm probably... No. Okay, this bear's just going to run in at mid. Drage is going to absolutely melt these guys, and then with the Bruce bear, we should be able to walk this in. I should be able to tank the pool, maybe even. There's no way they're going to be able to defend. Okay, I forgot about the gadget. That's a bit dumb of me, and they got the pool. I can get the bear off, though, and when I shoot it in... Okay, should be able to get it in. No, I was going to say, when I get it in, I can actually stun them. But looking like Bruce can actually go in and swipe them up. I don't know how we've not scored yet because we've literally spawn trapped them the whole game. Uh, one shot away from my bear, though. So. And I've got both my stuns, so I'm just going to use it. 
I won't ever get a bear. This Jean's going to look for a pull. But little does he know I have Bruce Bear looking to get the stun off on someone. This BB is just going to run into my face. But luckily Tom is targeting uh, my Bruce Bear's targeting the Poco. And we're able to finally get a goal. Not even used a gadget yet. So this is a bit of a messy game to be honest. I don't get how we've not finished this in like 30 seconds. So we're just going to get a stun off on Poco. Just so Bruce can go swipe in ham. He's going to use Screeching Solo and kill Drage, which is quite funny to be honest. I'm going to get another stun on this Poco just to solidify the win. That's going to be another win for us. I'm going to go for a trick shot on this BB and she saves it. But it doesn't really matter because we get the win. Anyway, let's hop right into the next game. All right, so next game is up against a Gale. I actually not faced a Gale today, uh, surprisingly. But with the balance changes coming up, uh, I wonder what you guys think of it. I'll probably make a balance for change video uh, tomorrow, actually. Uh, just going through what I think and whatnot, just because it's quite interesting with the Gale change, the Sprout change, there's a lot of good changes that have happened, so I feel like Gale actually might start in, uh, to become meta actually speaking about him because of his uh, attack patterns changed, and it's going to be a lot easier to hit his shots now, and you're going to be doing a lot more consistent damage at a long range, and I actually get the stun off there, I don't know. I didn't think I would get that off there, so I'm going to push this Gale, he's not going to be able to deal with me in his face, Drage going to be able to pass it up. And he's not going to be able to get the proper stun off. And we're able to win that again in like 30 seconds. Let's hop into another game. Alright, so up against a Tara, Ems, and a Frank here. So again, I shouldn't be having too much trouble. I'm just going to slowly get my bear up. Uh, Tom with a B, again, he can just uh, clap all of these lanes here. Especially with his 3k coming up again. We're going to be able to walk this in. I think Dre should be able to just, uh, yeah, literally walk it in. Actually, no, he's going to use his gadget. Because Frank could have actually shot him again and killed him. So, uh, well played from Dre. One... Uh, shot away from a bear so I'm just going to play it extremely aggressive I'm just going to use it straight away try and get his frank down he's actually activated his gadget which uh, which was basically pointless because he basically just uh, finished his stun duration I'm going to stun Ems to secure the goal and again literally win it in 30 seconds alright guys this is going to be the end of today's video so actually ending off on a loss which is pretty unfortunate they got a good goal going into overtime but I actually pushed a decent amount in this video as you can see going to be getting another 1k brawler pretty soon so definitely check out Tom and Drage I'll put both their uh, socials in the description below uh, but we're going to be getting that number one spot pretty soon that's been overtaken at a minute but i'll be making sure i get that uh, top spot don't you worry guys for sure so definitely stay tuned around for that don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later